In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up pages, um, like to have a navigation menu or a drop down menu. Um, if you look on my site, um, anationofbombs.com, you can see that I have um, I have a navigation menu. So these are this is my menu. These are my pages, and some of them are drop down. See that, and even some of them, like if you look at recipes under food, have even more subcategories under here. So you can look through there, um, and how to create them. It's very easy if you're on your dashboard. You just go to Pages, and you can see all of my pages. If you didn't have any pages, you wouldn't. It wouldn't show on yours, but it, it depends on your particular theme how it appears on your site. So um, again, we'll talk about themes in an, another time. But um, supposing you have a theme similar to mine and you want to create these pages and you want to create that navigation menu and drop down menus underneath those um, those pages and even have them some of them point to certain groups or of posts or categories of posts, um, this is how you would do it. Now you can add a new page, for instance, and you can title it here. And this title, this new title, is what, for instance, you would see here about or giveaways and list your giveaways, parenting, food. So that's that's what you would do. You would add the title here, and then you can write whatever you want to write here if you want it to be, um, if you want it to be, just a, a landing page. Um, about like for instance in my about page if you click about you will see I have I have all of these um, <clears throat> these sub categories uh, sub pages underneath that about page that I can click on however let's say and then you can click on one of these if you want to see about a nation of moms and you can see what we're all about um, and you can click see all these we've talked about before um, linking internally and this is my about page with all the internal links with some some of them are good keywords um, good anchor text like potty training fun ideas organization cleaning um, frugal special needs um, so those are different categories that I have um, I have on here um, but and then I also have some featured posts on here as well but if you want to let's say you want to um, if you look on my about page I also have best of nation of moms featured posts <clears throat> if I click on that it will actually take me to a tag that I created called best of <clears throat> and if you look at those um, it's it went straight to a certain tag or a group of posts instead of particular page and that's really easy to create as well so if you look let's look at my previous pages if you look at <clears throat> that particular one which was best of a nation of moms featured posts I'm gonna click on edit so you could see I did not write anything on here because I didn't want anything to be on there I wanted it to point to that certain tag of posts called best of. So I went down to the bottom and I, where it says page links to and point this URL and I can put this on any particular URL I want. This In this case I wanted it to be showcase all of the best of Nation of Moms. <clears throat> so I created a tag called best of and I tagged all of those best of and here it is. So it will open this particular one, Best of a Nation of Moms Featured Posts, to all of those particular posts. So it's super, super easy to do. Now, how you create, um, let's go add new page. How you create, let's go, this is a sample one. Um, if you want to create this underneath a particular um, like this, a, a drop-down menu, you would just choose a particular parent. So if you want it to be right here at the very top, that is the parent category, so you don't select a parent category. But if you want it to be in a drop-down menu, 
um, underneath that particular parent page, then you will pick a parent page. So if I want to put sample and I want it to be under my about page, and I can click it here. If I want it to be under even further um, sub pages, so let's say I want it to be under be a guest blogger guidelines, I can click that. Um, and I can also choose the order that in which you see it. Um, I can make it zero would make it at, at the top. Um, if you put if you put it at 10, it would make it further down to be the 10th the one if you have 10 of, 10 of them under there. So you want to do that. Um, and then, of course, click Publish when you're ready to publish. And you can also, again, edit this permalink, this little slug. You can change it to whatever you want it to. It seems fitting sample. So we'll keep it at that. So that's how you create um, <clears throat> That's how you would create a page. Um, and for this particular one, it would be under the about, and I did put it under be a guest blogger. So it would actually show up over here, and I will show you because we'll just publish it really quickly, and I'll delete it in a little bit. But now, if I just go home, refresh it a little bit, it will show you that it's under about, be a guest blogger, and there's my sample page. And of course I didn't put anything on there, so it will show up as a blank page. See? Um, and then if you're on your dashboard up here, you can edit this page and do whatever you want with it. I will move it to the trash because we don't need that sample page. So that's how you do it.